right here I've got the enclosure for the garage door remote opener. And um, if, you, if you look, normally there'd be three buttons right here. This button right here is, uh, is the one that in my case would open and close the door. So when I pull the circuitry out, you can see where the CR2032 battery normally is. I've got two leads soldered on. Um, one will just go to an output pin on the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi, and the other one will just go to ground. And the last thing I did with this was soldered a little jumper for that button so that it's in an always-on state. So all we have to do is apply power to this board, and that'll be the same as someone pressing the button. On the Raspberry Pi side, um, once I put this enclosure together, it's normally like this. I've got this little makeshift enclosure box for the Raspberry Pi. Nothing fancy, but just to keep dust and, and other things away from it. Um, this would normally sit in here right next to this mini breadboard that's connected to a breakout board for the Raspberry Pi. I got this from Adafruit, and I just simply connect it to uh, the ground, and in my case, pin 18. So I'm just connecting one of these jumpers to that. And then when I run the code, it just supplies power to it, and the garage door opens. You can see the code on GitHub. Um, I'll link to that in my blog post. Thanks a lot.